All right. Hello, Keith and family. This is the tour of your first offer. This one is in Nets. It is a four bedroom, four story house. Apologize for the camera. I am not trained professional. Coming in, your entry door. You have a small space for your mudroom, shoes, coats, and then your half bath downstairs. All right, inside the entryway, if you make a right, there's your kitchen. All right, comes with the door. The refrigerator looks brand new. It's a pretty big size, but this is all enclosed in its own room. So you have a fridge, stove, and dishwasher and a two basin sink. Appears to be lots of cabin space. All right, turn it around, going out from the kitchen. On the left here is your storage closet for your coats. And this slides out for your hanging. All right, coming into the main living space, as you see, there's already the government furniture in here that is provided. Once you have your furniture, you can turn it back in or you can keep it. Here's the stairwell. I know you guys were worried about the gaps. I apologize. Um, doesn't look too bad. It's definitely not as bad as mine. All right, so living room, like we said. And then your dining area. This is your back patio. You have two large windows here with the shutters. And this is your backyard. As you can see, there's a couple playgrounds out here in the middle for the community kids to enjoy. All right, going back inside, we'll go down to the basement first. Like I said, this is four stories, so main floor is what we just came in on. The basement contains your laundry room and storage. It's actually quite large. There's your dryer and your washer. And your water boiler and your water heater. Okay. There's underneath the steps, more room for storage and then two large storage rooms off the main stairwell. This one can be a giant playroom or whatever you like, it's huge. <clears throat> All right, moving back up the stairs, we'll go up to the second floor. That's where most of the bedrooms are. So walking up, you have three bedrooms on this floor. It smells like new carpet, new paint. So that's good news. All right, first bedroom overlooks the backyard. All the bedrooms are pretty similar. You got your radiator heat. They all have shutters. <clears throat> and they all have the built-in closets. Plenty of storage. Second bedroom off to the left here, much of the same. All right, and the third bedroom down here, once again, much of the same. That one actually has a headboard on. bathroom on this floor is a dual vanity. I turned all the lights on that way you can see everything. It has a large tub, a toilet, and then a stand-up shower. So pretty good size restroom. 
<clears throat> All right. Okay, I know there's a ladder there. I open the attic so I can give you a tour at the last point here, but there's a small landing and then the master bedroom or however you want to do it. <clears throat> it's got a lot of space up here. Once again, it smells like new carpet. It's got almost a his and hers closet space. So two racks in that one, plenty of space in there. <clears throat> and then the master bedroom's bath has a stand-up shower. Single vanity and your toilet. All right, the last thing, I know it's a six minute video, I'm sorry. The last thing is gonna be your attic space. And this is just to show you more, more or less your storage. All right, so it's insulated up here. So it means it's not gonna get super hot. Also not gonna get super cold, but it's not great for, you know, making a man cave or anything silly. All right, that's it. Um, this one's pretty nice. I know it's not on Graf and Beer Main like you wanted, but uh, out of these two options, I'm gonna assume that this one's one of the nicer ones. All right, I'm gonna head off to your second option. It's in Eschenbach, which is a little bit further of a drive, but we'll see how it goes.